Both the displaced and resident populations of Rakhine State have experienced increased vulnerability since 2012, suffering from insufficient infrastructure and public services. Working with both formal schools for Buddhist Rakhine and education activities for Muslim IDP populations is important to ensure increased equal opportunities and to avoid increasing tensions in an area affected by poverty where seemingly unequal support exacerbates tensions. The EU COS Phase 1 project, Education Assistance to Children in Rakhine State, improves education in 18 formal government schools and 21 IDP camps and resettled areas in Sitwe, Paukdal, Miaou, and An Township. <laughs> In the camps, LWF has promoted education together with the education department. Chowktown is one of the schools we reconstructed in Rakhine. LWF Myanmar really strives to work closely with the education departments in Rakhine State, including the State Education Department and Township Education Office. When constructing schools, LWF is working with the community, including school management committees and parent-teacher associations, to strengthen the sense of ownership and long-term sustainability of programming. It was discovered that there are challenges for students, particularly in the rainy monsoon season, to go to school. The community plans to address this through road renovation. Rakhine State is really prone to natural disasters like floods, lightning, and cyclones. As a result, LWF supports schools with disaster risk reduction activities. LWF 
LWF's support created positive unexpected results, including resource contribution by the Township Education Office. ตอนนี้เกี่ยวกับเรื่องเราหาเลยไปจนเราอาศัยอยู่กันเลยอาจจะดูแลฟัวเย่บุบังสอนเยอะเด็กอ่ะพ่อแม่มีภาระเรื่